guys, I'm back from my raw review. So this is going to be about the three-hour Power to the People episode that was obviously on Monday night. And yeah, I have to say, I really enjoyed this episode of Raw. Like all the people that I've watched on like YouTube or read reviews, and people who are moaning about the fact that some of the polls were like rigged and stuff, and it was just you know some of the stuff. I'm like thinking in my head, shut up, <laughs> I don't care. Like for those people who are saying that this show was like awful, I think they need a reality check because it was a lot better than a lot of the shows have been lately, and you know just. A lot, you know, the matches were decent. I only skipped like the stupid arm wrestling match. Um, the rest of them were fine. They had some really good segments, like one of the most hilarious segments I've seen for ages. And um, just the whole show generally worked really well. So to everyone who really didn't like the show, then just shush, <laughs> because I do not want to hear it. But yeah, no, so I'm not saying that my opinion is better, but it's just people. It just I think what's annoying me now about people on YouTube is that they just moan. They find something to moan about every single week, and it's just like. Ugh. But I know, okay, yeah, there are things that I complain about. This is probably going to make me sound like all hypocritical. But I'm not, I'm, it's only something if it's really awful that I will, like, generally moan about it or just something stupid. But when people just find fault with, like, everything that goes on, and I'm just like, can you not just sit back and just enjoy the wrestling for what it is? I wish I could be like I was when I was younger and just, you know, take the show, you know, the good guys, the bad guys, and, you know, just, you know, you know, if the good guy won, then great. If the bad guy won, then, you know, not so good. But you just carry on watching it anyway, regardless of what happens. Not like now when people, you know, just care so much. Like, this is the way it should be. This person's won too many times. And I'm just thinking, ugh. I, just, I wish I could go back and just be like I was, you know, when I was younger and just take it for what it was and not all the kind of backstage stuff. But, yeah, anyway, <clears throat> that's my little mini rant. <laughs> Before I actually start, the obviously, the CM Punk started off the show. He came out and said, obviously, because he beat John Cena last week on Raw, he should be the number one contender. And he, like, does, like, a sit-down strike. And uh, basically the GM says that, um, you know, he does, obviously, you know, he does deserve it, but he needs to still do something to show that he's, like, you know, worthy enough of it. So he makes a triple threat match later on between, obviously, CM Punk, Alberto Del Rio, and Rey Mysterio. Um, the first match was... Well, it was obviously Brie Bella defending her Divas title, and you have to either vote for Eve, Kelly Kelly, or Beth Phoenix. I would have liked to have seen Beth Phoenix, but obviously the vote went to Kelly Kelly. <coughs> and, um, yeah, Kelly Kelly actually won. So, yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind Kelly, you know. <laughs> she seems to do, like, the same moves every single match. I mean, I know most wrestlers do, but, you know, that's not me. I'm not trying to complain, but I'm just saying she does do a lot of the similar kind of moves every time. But, you know, it's nice to see um, her as a champion, because she hasn't been champion before, and obviously just not the better champion, because they are so annoying. But, um... Yeah, and Michael Cole being proved wrong, she was going on about how this would be her second Divas Championship, and it was like, she did an interview saying how happy she was it was her first. So I was like, Michael Cole, you are a leader. <laughs> but yeah, the um, second match was Evan Bourne, um, and you had to either pick, yeah, Mason Ryan, Sinclair, or Jack Swagger. <laughs> I was surprised that the voters, like, or they picked Mason Ryan, but then they actually did, like, WWE put up a message saying that there was, like, a backlog of votes from the first match. So obviously, Kelly Kelly was vote B, and so was Mason Ryan, so people were still voting for that somehow. And, um... Yeah, which is why Mason Ryan got like voted into it. So, because obviously people would have picked Sin Cara, definitely not Mason Ryan. But anyway, it's just so funny when the chat, people just chat like Batista every time he's in it. He does. He really does look like Batista. It's quite scary. But yeah, Mason Ryan won that one. I didn't even write down how he won, but he won anyway. <laughs> That's all that you need to know. I say something. Does it not annoy you, Booker T? I, I mean, Booker T's commentary is annoying anyway. But every single time, like saying someone starts to build up some offense or someone, you know, does whatever and goes, ah, oh, here we go. Every single time, he does it on every show. Honestly, if you watch like SmackDown or whatever, I guarantee you at least once he'll say that. But now that I said that, he probably won't. But it's, oh, it's so annoying. Every time I hear it, I just want to kind of strangle him. <laughs> so the next match was Mark Henry versus Kane. And um, they had to vote the match type, and for some reason it was voted an arm wrestling match. But that one just seemed rigged because the crowd were like chanting, "This is stupid!" like the whole time. So whether it was people who weren't in the arena that were chanting that, but you know, it was really stupid. And it took ages to get going. Like you know, Mark Henry like wouldn't do it, and then so then he eventually just hits um, Kane, so he gets disqualified. And obviously, yeah, Kane wins, but then he does the world's strongest slam on Kane through the table. So obviously, Mark Henry's just kind of on a rampage at the moment. Um, now, this next part was the most hilarious thing I've seen for ages, honestly. Our truth came out. <laughs> he basically is saying how he got got by little Jimmy. And, um, oh, that's hilarious. So then Christian comes out and he starts, you know, blaming, like, his losses on the crowd, on the general manager and, um, referees. And then Miz comes out and he's just, like, like are you, I know you've all probably seen this, but yeah. So Miz comes out and obviously says, you know, that, uh, he should have beaten Alex Ryan or whatever. And he's basically... Like telling to those guys to stop whining, he's got a legitimate reason. So then he starts like going, really, really, and then obviously then um I think it's Christian starts chanting, 
Riley, and then so um, Ms responds with Randy, and then our truth just looks at them both and starts going, Jimmy, Jimmy, and oh, it's just the most hilarious thing ever. Obviously, I was laughing. I was watching this at like half past one in the morning, and I was just trying not to laugh like really loud. It was so funny. You just knew that he was going to say that, and it was oh, honestly, if you haven't seen it, go um, like try and find like a clip on YouTube or something because it's absolutely hilarious. But um. Theodore Long comes out and says, I've had enough of this, this is just ridiculous. So he makes a six-man tag team match between those three and Alex Riley, Randy Orton and John Cena for the main event. So yeah, a good, like, first hour to the actual play, um, show. Oh, my legs are really long. I have to sit on the floor and do these videos. And it really <laughs> anyway, um, so the next match was Dolph Ziggler versus Kofi Kingston. So I'm sure it was a US title rematch. And he had to vote the match type in a two-out-of-three four match was voted in. Um... Yeah, the first full um, Dolph Ziggler one by doing the zigzag on the outside. But um, it was like during a commercial break, so you didn't actually see it. You watched it on the replay. <laughs> that was like really stupid timing for like a break. To put it like during like the first actual fall. Um, Kofi gets the hits of SOS for the second fall. Um, and then he hits the Trouble in Paradise on the outside, but then um, Dolph hits Kofi with the microphone and gets disqualified. So Kofi wins the match, but Dolph still keeps his championship. Another good match there. Um, Alberto Dario comes out and says, you know, what happened to... Big show. He was like said that was not actually an accident. Now it was just a destiny. Um, so he's talking about that before. So then obviously it's him versus CM Punk versus Rey Mysterio, triple threat and number one contenders match. Um, and it's also a falls count anywhere match, even though they only did like two falls on the outside, or not falls, two attempted two falls on the outside for the whole thing, which is a bit weird. Um, there's a nice spot. Uh, I think Rey Mysterio was on the top rope, and then. CM Punk was going up to do a suplex on him, but then Alberto Del Rio was underneath him and like powerbombed him, so it was like a triple powerbomb suplex thing. <laughs> it looked really good anyway. That was a good spot. Um, I'm sure CM Punk's tooth threw out during one part of it. One moment he like did a dive, like kicked him in the face, and something flew out anyway. It must look like one of his teeth. Um, but then the Rey Mysterio hits the 6 on 9 and does a splash on Alberto Del Rio, but Punk comes in, throws. Rimster into like the ring post and then pins Alberto Del Rio for the win for Triple H. Uh, Triple H, what? Why are they even start saying Triple H? CM Punk is the number one contender, so he's going to face John Cena at Money in the Bank. Um, but he then obviously starts talking and said that um, it's going to be a special night because it will be the last day of his contract. So his contract obviously runs out like midnight basically on the uh, like midnight on the Sunday. So he says that he will leave with the WWE Championship. So I'm kind of got it now, because like I said, CM Punk's kind of grown on me. He used to just really annoy me, and I used to be like, oh, I can't stand him. But he is, like I said, he's a good heel. And obviously, if he does go, that'd be a bit gutting, because he actually kind of, you know, makes... He's, like, the best, like, heel that they've got, really, and it would be a bit weird if he, like, wasn't there anymore. Nexus would just, like, die, basically, <laughs> if CM Punk wasn't there. But, yeah, so... Cody Rhodes versus Daniel Bryan, no count-out match. It's a bit of a pointless thing, because people don't really get counted out much in matches anyway. Um, Daniel Bryan won, and I was just like, oh, that match, I didn't know it was really short and just didn't seem like there was much point to it. Why was the referee wearing, did anyone notice the referee was wearing like, rubber gloves during that match? I was like, well, that's really weird. Then DB obviously came out after the match and helped Cody Rhodes to attack Daniel Bryan. And then it was Vicky Guerrero versus Michael Cole in a dance-off, which was, <laughs> if you see some things like that, like, I just thought, you know, it's, it just, it was kind of funny. A lot of people would say, oh, it's stupid, but... Whatever, I thought it was kind of amusing anyway, because my boss actually an idiot. Vicky Guerrero is quite hilarious as well. But yeah, Michael Cole won. <laughs> Only because, you know, they were going by how many, who got booed the most, and obviously Michael Cole did. Vicky Guerrero, I feel like she doesn't get as much heat as she used to now, which is a shame, because she used to be, like, on SmackDown, she used to be, like, a really, like, you know, the top heel. I know it's probably because she was, like, the kind of, like, GM. But, um, yeah, she just doesn't seem to get the same reaction that she used to, but... Oh, well. And the main event was the six man tag between Archery Christian and The Miz against Alex Riley, Randy Orton, and John Cena. And the uh, stipulation voted in was it would be an elimination match. Um, oh, it was a good match. I watched most of it. I would have skipped like the bits. You know, like when one guy gets like beat down forever. <laughs> I thought, oh, I'll skip that bit. But, you know, um, they, you know, they all worked really well together. I thought it was a good main event, really. Um, Riley was take, well, Riley was eliminated first after Miz hit the score crushing finale. Then Miz was eliminated by John Cena doing an attitude adjustment. Uh, our troops got eliminated by Ramsey Orton after the RKO, so it was left Christian on his own against Cena and Orton. Um, but then Christian hit the spear on Orton and eliminated him. But then RKO hit. RKO hit? <laughs> but then Ramsey Orton hit the RKO and John Cena hit the attitude adjustment on Christian, so that John Cena was the winner. But, you know, I'm not going to complain. Obviously, 
it was a good match, enjoyed it. The, obviously, you know, the faces were going to win because it was like a big special show. <laughs> you're jumping around, you on the same team. It was unlikely that they were going to lose. But no, overall, I thought it was good Raw. You know, I, you know, lately we kind of expect Raw to be kind of average, so I was surprised that this was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. They seem to be doing a lot of, like, special things. Obviously, last time was, like, the All-Stars one. This was about power to the people. Next week, they've got Raw Roulette. I can't... Do they normally do that each year? I never used to do it, like, years ago when Eric Bischoff was there. They had, like, the whole Raw Roulette thing, so I was going to do, like, the TLC 4 or whatever it was. But, yeah, I don't know. Sean meant to do a Raw next week as well, so that would be cool. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I, I draw all my notes all the way through Raw and Smackdown. Got like this little stick person with little Jimmy written next to it, which caught my eye then, I was wondering what it was. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so, good Raw overall. And yeah, I'm going to stop talking now, my throat hurts. I'm making fudge this afternoon. I've made it, it smells really nice, it looks like fudge, but I'm waiting for it to cool down and set before I taste it, so I'm hoping it tastes nice, because I've got a lot of people at work expecting me to bring them in fudge tomorrow, so... Anyway, I'm sure you do not care about my cooking endeavours. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for watching this video. I'll be back at the weekend with my Smackdown review. Or I might actually be back sooner with my Judgment Day 2003 video. Because I'm sure you're all getting fed up with me saying, I'm going to do it soon. I'm not actually doing it. But I will try my best to get it watched. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye.